I'm Tammy Karstridok and I'm a senior limnologist with AECOM. Harsha Lake is a huge lake with a really big problem. So the problem being that the lake suffers from very high levels of algae. At certain times of the year, the type of algae that can proliferate in this lake is actually toxic or can produce toxins which are harmful to human health. So we're here today demonstrating some new technology that we can use to mitigate these harmful algae growing in Lake Harsha but also to be applied elsewhere throughout the state of Ohio. So one of the characteristics of Harsha Lake is that it's quite a deep lake and what that means is during the height of summer the top Approximately 12 to 15 feet of water in this lake is very well mixed and that the area of the lake where the algae are growing. Below that level, however, there's a layer of cooler water and when the algae in the surface die and decompose, they use up all the oxygen in that deep water. In Harsha Lake, the deep water below a depth of about 15 feet down to the lake bottom is completely devoid of, of oxygen or it's anoxic. This is especially problematic as Harsha Lake is a source of drinking water for Claremont County. So while algae levels in Harsha Lake are relatively low right now in comparison to what they were say in July of this year, um, just looking in the water I can see the signs of significant algal bloom activity. There is actually a surface layer of sheen that I can see on the top of the water here that is indicative of algae activity in the water. Thank you.